everything changed after we basically got to the hold short, it was pretty clear this, this plan isn't going to work out. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back. In this reaction video, we're looking at a real world situation that could have potentially led to a collision on the runway. Um, it's a kind of subtle situation. It sort of crept up on Steve Thorne from Flight Chops, as he described in his video from a few years past called crazy, busy, uncontrolled VFR departures or something like that. Now the operation Steve's trying to do here is safe under most circumstances, uh, but the situation is dynamic. There are some external pressures and that's why we've built it as a scenario into our ground school app, along with other YouTube scenarios from SoCal Flying Monkey uh, and others so that you can actually go through the real scenario, do some evaluations, get the most learning you can out of it. So I had a chance to sit down with Steve and talk about how he ended up in this situation and what the major takeaways really were. Thanks for doing this with me and thanks for letting us break up this scenario. So let me just ask you a question. Do you think after this experience, is your opinion of doing this type of operation at an untowered field, has that changed at all? Or was this just like a specific day? Well, I mean, the, the thing is when we made the decision to go out there, it was fine, right? Everything changed after we basically got to the hold short. So I think the only thing that may have changed is my experience level now is I would have just called it. Like I wouldn't have, it was pretty clear this, this plan isn't going to work out. Okay, here's how it happened. This is Steve and Moran holding short right here. Again, going out to practice crosswind takeoffs and landings on this runway, which is not directly aligned with the wind. And as they're sitting there, many airplane arrive to fly the pattern for this runway over here. Keep your eye on this one. Bravo Juliet Whiskey. You know, as pilots, we use the radio to develop situational awareness on where airplanes are. Um, and it's difficult when you're distracted. You're dealing with cockpit duties. Uh, and so you have to kind of multitask, divide your attention, and paint a picture of what's happening around you. Uh, let's join Stephen Moran here in the run up area uh, as you see how they end up in a potentially dangerous situation. Yeah, Bravo Charlie, Greg Kielos, Victor's uh, departed off 27 with uh, it looks like Bravo Juliet Whiskey in sight. We'll follow behind. Hey, you scared me a bit there. Bravo Julia Whiskey is on the right down for 127. I don't know, man. There's a lot of traffic on 27 right now. Yeah, I know. Watch closely what happens here. I'm about to fail as a pilot buddy, but luckily Marin stays on top of his game. And despite the fact that I give him a little bit of pressure to try to get us going, he definitely stays with the situational awareness and he catches himself up by using his eyes. Burnson area traffic. Bravo Julia Whiskey is on our right. Burnson traffic. Uh, Kilo Oscar Victor is going to be passing overhead the field. Uh, 1,500. We'll be joining the mid right downwind for runway 32. And that's how easily it happens. So I'm no longer on board with situational awareness. I don't think BJW is on base yet. So I'm definitely not expecting to hear a final call. And what's crazy is that he does make the final call, but we're talking during it, so we miss it. So our one last chance to catch up with where BJW is, we miss it. Who the hell's that right there? Oh, Traffic, Whiskey Victor is over at the field at uh, 1400 and uh, going to follow the traffic in the downwind uh, for 27. All right, well, you're good to just get it. Right the traffic, Bravo Julio. Yeah, he's turning, okay. Final runway, 27. Full stop. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick circle. Well, I'll make your call, I think it is, yep. get out there. Uh, I've been on top of everybody while we're going. Okay. No, I haven't been. And I do manage to bully Mayron into not making his 360 turn, which in the low wing we don't always do because you usually have pretty good visibility, but in a 172, like with the high wing, we definitely would have done that. But anyway, he let me talk him out of doing the 360, which he felt the need to do. But luckily when we get into position, he does see BJW, so all's not lost. Burnley traffic, Oscar Charlie Hotel will be taking off runway 32, repeat 32 for crosswind practice takeoff, and we'll be watching for traffic, Oscar Straight Charlie Hotel. Is everyone okay, Oscar, we got all three traffic, so we'll keep going. All right, cool. Hey guys, let's listen before we transmit, all right? I don't know who he's talking to. You good? Nope, there's someone on final. We're in the traffic, Bravo Julia Whiskey is wow. short final runway 27. I missed that one. Traffic, Whiskey Victor, he's joined the bench right now, 1327, for three. So well done, Marin, staying on top of your game, because I was clearly unfocused. 
I don't know if that instructor was giving us shit for not listening because he didn't know we didn't hear it. So now we're in the awkward spot of sitting waiting in position at an uncontrolled airport where we can't see what's behind us. So it's not awesome. Chaos Victor established on a wide right base runway 32. Let's try. I've got to wait for him to get off the runway or do we, once he's clear I'm good to go. Because he's not on my runway. Well. Once he crosses, anyway. Yep. Okay, you can say I've got the rolling traffic on 27. Oh, traffic echo over, Victor Sierra, turning final, 27, full stop. Currently traffic, Oscar Charlie Hotel on the roll, 3-2, with the traffic uh, that's just crossed the uh, runway. Oh, Front yeah. of the air traffic, Bob, you with you is clear, runway 27, have a good one, guys. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on him, you just yep. fly the airplane. Because he is taxiing, man. Victor, he is turning base, runway 27. All right, you're good. So that was far from ideal, and we got the heck out of there, and needless to say, we didn't come back for the circuit. But trying to handle all that traffic made the crosswind seem like nothing, so we didn't have any issues landing at Guelph. So the traffic kills Victor's uh, turning final runway 32 with the traffic final 27. Pull over, shoot if necessary. Okay, we're going straight out. All right, Charlie Hotel is uh, going straight out. Uh, well, it's a 3-2. Okay, both traffic kills Victor's just going to do a left 360 here, and uh, final 32. Further driving, Bravo Juliet Whiskey is crossing runway 14 and 32. So I'm glad I had this footage to review because at the time I really couldn't figure out what we'd missed. But upon reviewing it, it was very clear. All right, aviators, a lot of great learning right in that one. Um, definitely check out our ground school app. You know, these, these real world situations that you see on YouTube, this is what we're all headed toward as we go through our private training and even as we just go out and exercise the privileges of our certificate. Uh, we're going to encounter these things. So get our ground school app, take the free trial, go to the scenarios section and try your hand on some of these real world scenarios that we've taken from YouTube um, and built into lessons uh, for ground school. All right, huge thanks to you guys, huge thanks to the patrons. Without that support, these videos just wouldn't keep coming. So it's much appreciated, lots of bonus content there, monthly calls with me and much more. Check it out, patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also a huge thanks to the sponsors. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select pilot protection services. Leave a comment below on any reaction videos you want to see me do or videos of any kind you want to see me do. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the alert bell, share far and wide, talk about it amongst your friends. But most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best.